Alright guys, hello and welcome to another Crafting Bench MC Bucket Plucking Tutorial. So today, I'm doing Lag Remover. Lag with two G's, that is. And I, you probably guessed what this plugin is about. It's about removing lag from your server. And it does it in a very efficient manner. But unlike some other lag removing softwares, I like how this one kind of... It lets you see... Uh, what is causing the lag and it also lets you kind of take lag issues into your own hands So I'm just gonna start out going through all the commands uh, if we start out we can do slash lr help and That'll tell us uh, the first page of all the commands and if we do slash lr help Two that'll show us the second page. So that's pretty fun. Uh, next command lr lag with two G's That'll show the ticks per second of our server um, in Minecraft, the ma well, you want the lowest TPS as possible, but the minimum is 20. It looks like I'm slightly below 20. It'll kind of hover around 19.9. Sometimes it'll go to 19.8. But, uh, it's just based, that's, uh, the ticks per second that Minecraft is supposed to run at. So if you have a redstone creation, you know how the repeaters make it stay for three ticks or something. It's supposed to be like 20... 20 ticks per second, so if, you're at, if your repeaters are uh, lagging, your restaurant creation probably won't work just right. Anyway, go LR RAM, and it'll tell us how much RAM is being used. So I have uh, I have 50 megabytes allocated. This, this top number kind of fluctuates, kind of weird, I don't really know. But this is how much you're using, which is actually quite a bit, considering I'm the only one on here. But as you can see, I have zero lag, so can't complain, can't complain. Uh, if we do slash LR chunk, it'll display how many chunks this world has in memory. So you can see if I will fly over here, you know, load some new chunks. If I type that again, it'll, oh, whoops, I guess I'm not loading new chunks. Load, load new chunks? Whatever, anyway, it loads new chunks and it'll tell you how much you have in memory. Uh, if I do slash LR master, this will basically tell you everything that I just typed in commands for, but all at the same place. So, uh, yeah, and it also tells you how many entities and how many players are in the world. So, that's fun. Uh, if you do slash LR clear, that'll clear all the ground items. But you probably don't want to do that to people, because what if someone's, like, I don't know, doing a trade with some diamonds, and then their diamond will disappear? That would kind of suck. So, what you do instead of that is you do slash LR clear warning, and that'll tell you that all ground items are going to be cleared in 60 seconds. So that gives people a full minute to pick up all of their oak saplings and stakes that they've dropped on the ground. Full minute. Uh, and it'll uh, delete all the items. It'll give them another 30 second warning as well. Uh, next one is we can do slash LR clear entity. So we can choose whatever type of entity we want to delete. I can try to find some if I can. Just to, just to see. Here, let's get some, get some chicken eggs. So it spawns some chickens, as you can see. It says, so you items 30 seconds. As I said, all right, so we have all these chickens here. Clear entity. I'll just say peaceful. And all the chickens are gone now. So if your server's lagging, you can do that, or you can delete all the hostile mobs if you really want to. Uh, you can do the same thing with that. So if we do slash lr clear entity all, and then you say uh, warning, then it'll delete them in 60 seconds in case someone's going on a wild pig hunt. So anyway, guys, that is the entire commands. I'm going to go ahead and go through the configuration for you, the config file. And all the permissions will be in the description as always. So if, if you're watching this on the plugin page or anything like that, just click on my channel and come check out the description. Or if you're already on the plugin page, they should already be on there anyway. But anyway, guys, I'm going to see you in the config file. Okay, guys, so here we are in the lag remover config.yml. So. Uh, it's pretty simple. What do we have here? One, two, three, four, five options. So you can see, uh, I'll start from the top here. All features are enabled by default. So you probably want all these features enabled if you really want them to, but uh, 
as always, that's what I like about plugins is the uh, uh, configurability about them. So we can turn off and turn on anything we want. Uh, so this auto chunk automatically removes loaded chunks and rolls that have no players every 10 seconds. So if that's like if some if you if someone isn't in this chunk every 10 seconds, it'll unload it. Basically, that's what it's saying. So you'll have less chunks loaded on your server at once, which I think is uh, a good thing. So I'm just gonna leave that as true. I guess you can change that to false if you want to. Uh, this removes spawn chunks for all worlds in your server. So if you don't want spawn chunks, um, then you can leave this as true. If you do want your spawn chunks back, then do that to false. All right, so um, if your ticks per second is below 20, 20 is the maximum ticks per second, and someone, I think this is really cool for some reason, but if someone is tapping like, lag man i'm having so much lag right now so if they're talking to their friends and they're saying lag this server uh will perform its it perform its lag removal protocol so it'll go through everything it'll clear the items it'll it'll uh it'll warn clear items warn clear entities it'll so you know how servers you know some some of them they say like Warning, all ground items will be deleted in 60 seconds. That's because someone typed lag most of the time, or an admin typed in the command. But if someone types in lag, it'll uh, go through its protocol, and you can edit whatever commands you want to be in the protocol. You can just have it delete all the items without the warning if you want to. And this is the item clearing cooldown. So uh, this is the smart detection. So this is saying... Uh, if you want, so if someone someone can't just type lag over and over and over and over again, and no one's going to be able to ever throw anything on the ground because they're just you know getting annihilated. So if you uh, change this, so this is at five minutes right now, and I can just say like ten minutes. So it'll only delete lag every ten minutes. So that'll be fun. Uh, that's the entire config. Uh, permissions will be in the description as always, guys. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. I will tr be trying to make more videos uh, now after spring break. Sorry, it took so long. What has it been, like two weeks or something? God. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed. Please check out my other bucket plugin tutorials, which I try to bring to you at least once a week. And uh, I will see you guys next time.